Well, whether you believe in global warming or not, there's a lot of money currently flowing in the direction of companies that use the fear of global warming to help sell their products. Jeff Reeves, InvestorPlace.com editor, joins us to explain three ways he's found where he believes you can profit from global warming. Okay, Jeff, this is such a fascinating topic that we said, get him in here. First of all, how did you go about compiling the names? Well, first of all, I tried to look at kind of, you know, secular, secular trends that I think people can get behind. And I will point that solar is conspicuously absent here, mostly because I think the solar space, anyone who's traded solar stocks in the last year or two know how volatile they are. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of like government uh, tariffs. There's government subsidies. So picking winners there is a little more difficult. I was trying to look for a kind of a secular trend that broadly people can, can find faith that's going to be durable over the next several years, maybe in the next several decades, uh, and try to plot, you know, a trend out there. Because as, as you know, this is a crazy mixed up economic environment we're in, at least being reasonably sure direction about where the money is going to be headed can, can really be in your best interest instead of just throwing Jeff, darts at a you dartboard. Are, you are so good that you forecasted my first question. I was going to give a whole <laughs> list of solar companies that have gone bankrupt. There's a huge lift of solar companies. It is a very risky environment. Maybe we could just plug that list in. Uh, this is just some of it here rolling now. But let me talk about electric cars for a second. Uh, electric cars, and I, by the way, I'm one of those who believe we're in a global cooling trend, not a global warming. I don't believe the global warming, and some, even some people at the UN are beginning to doubt that right now. But electric cars get their energy from the grid. The grid gets its energy from carbon energy. So you could buy an electric car and possibly be actually adding more carbon energy into the environment. Well, true. Uh, there's a host of economic and political balancing acts that have to go on here uh, as, as people look, at, look towards uh, kind of figuring out the global warming problem. I mean, I, 95% of peer-reviewed journal articles out there say that global warming is a real issue. I think that, you know, people not have to anymore, figure out how- Not anymore, by the way. I have to correct you on that, Jeff. Not anymore. Now they're beginning to go the other way. But anyway, go ahead. Well, the bottom line is it's a complicated issue, and I agree that electric vehicles are are a complicated issue, too. But it's undeniable when you look at Tesla out there. Tesla has gone parabolic because it's proven that it can make profits doing this. There is consumer demand. So all that other minutia aside, electric vehicles are selling. And you know that automakers are going to get to it in in earnest. So you can buy Tesla. It's a little bit frothy. Again, as an investor, Mm -hmm. I'm not buying Tesla right now because of valuation reasons. But I do believe in electric vehicles long term. And and I think the best way to play that may be the battery route. Panasonic actually provides provides the batteries to oh, Tesla, oh. or there, there is a lithium ETF out there, the ticker symbol is LIT, and again, it also has exposure to electronics because the lithium batteries are a big part of that. So there's ways to kind of play this, this trend without getting involved in the complicated political and economic discussions that go along with global warming. If you believe <laughs> right. in electric vehicles, you believe in the batteries, that's, that's one way to play it. I'm trying to oversimplify, but, but that's, that's kind of my Wait, We're getting it. We're getting it. You know, the beauty of David and, and myself is that we're fair and balanced. So I believe <laughs> in climate change because I look at the polar caps melting and that brings us to water you've got some picks in the water space yeah, I mean, anyone who, who lives in the American West knows that water is a real issue with droughts, with population growth. Uh, I mean, water, finding, finding potable, clean wastewater treatment, stuff like that out West is, is a big deal. So there's ways to play that. There's actually a water ETF out there. The ticker, ticker symbol is PHO. There's companies like FlowServe that makes uh, a pumps and flow components. But an interesting uh, angle that I like, especially for income portfolios, is American Water Works. It's like a public utility, yeah. like an electric company, but it is a water company. It pays almost a 3% dividend. It provides uh, drinking water and, and wastewater treatments to municipalities. Very low risk, like, like an electric utility, and it pays a dividend. So if you like that trend and you like the safety of utilities, maybe check out that stock. By the way, just a point, 60% rise in ice-covered ocean over the past year. So the beginning to change on those figures as well. Nuclear energy. Uh, you believe that's a play here. A lot of people would say, gee, that's not a green energy. I, well, you know, uh, there's two ways to look at it. Fukushima was a big deal. I think people saw the, the risks laid bare of nuclear energy. I'm not going to act like they aren't real. But the flip side of that is people like me who believe that there is climate change going on and severe weather is a big deal. I mean, the flip side of that is the su- tsunami that came with it could actually be an argument in favor of global warming, if you want to have that argument. But longer, longer term, I think that nuclear energy is viable. The U.K. actually is just starting construction on its first nuclear plant in 20 years. Uh, it's a partnership, actually, with a French utility and Chinese companies. Uh, I think the people have to realize that, you know, as, as a cheap homegrown energy source, nuclear does have a role. And mm, while there are sure. challenges with so many things in life, I mean, you need to balance the needs. And there, there is a growing consensus out there that all the risks out there for nuclear may not be as, as big as the rewards that come with it, especially in a changing economic environment and, and, a, and a changing environmental one as well.
We'll put these all up on our Facebook.com slash After the Bell page. All of Jeff's picks. Fair and balanced. I'm sure you'll get a lot of comments on it. <laughs> Fair and balanced. Yep. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. We're about